I'm Rainer Kreplin, born in Germany on 26th of January 1955. Today I'm 66. I came to Kenya first time in January 2019 after I've tried my projects as an investor in Ethiopia for four years. I wanted to take a rest and see how it is in coastal. I was coming to Mtwapa by advice of some friends in Nairobi. Then I was first in a hotel in Mtwapa. Uh, enjoying beach life a bit. The first hotel was not to my liking, so I moved up to Yumaya. Uh, north of that hotel, I was first near Paris Beach. In that Christian hotel, I was the only guest and treated nicely by staff. I loved it, but then I needed some fresh beer as a German. So went to Samala Hotel next by and met a waiter by the name of Masi Ojombo Ocheng. Now we were mingling a bit and she invited me for dancing in Danka Club. She left me, I had to go to Nairobi to meet my business partners and uh, there and we only chatted for a long time before I came back in April 2019 to see what it really was. But we came along very nicely because prepared by chatting on WhatsApp we knew each other quite well. She suggested to go for a weekend to Malindi. <laughs> we set out to be spending a nice weekend and I found a sign which says a property to sell, a house to sell. In 2019 and we stayed for one week together, Marcy and I, in that house, approved it and I was going to invest in it. Came back October 2019 to do the purchasing final. Now I'm a registered uh, investor as I own this house in leasehold, but it's a secure title, so it's very fine that I'm now a holder of this leasehold for 88 years. This is probably a bit more than my life expectation to come. So in that house, we were always together, Marcy and myself, and the development of our relationship was such that I saw her as a fiancé. I visited the family, all the family in Zaya, as she was Lou, and there we met the family. I met the brothers and sisters and mother and father. Helped them out with giving money for a new house for brother George and gave livestock to the family for giving them a better life base. I bought a tank so that they did not take water from the borehole direct anymore, but could capture in a tank and easily uh, improve their lives. So I was last time in Kenya, uh, needed to go back to Germany on February 29 and 2020 after we had spent a week in S <laughs> Zanzibar uh, for her Valentine's uh, present. Then unfortunately COVID came and locked down airports so I had to stay outside for a long time. We were in daily chats and uh, I was very trustful and uh, faithful that she would be uh, on my side. So I came back on the 29th of November and we set out to live in Malindi again. Usually in the morning I went for coffees in Australia and came back later and then we had breakfast together because we used to sleep a bit longer. I, we saw a few security issues in that compa uh, compound of Habaki cottages. And as I was uh, appointed deputy director of that limited company, I'd heard, I sneaked out and found out the loopholes. Although there was security 24-7, my bicycle was stolen around the 4th of December. On December 6th, then I asked her, hey, did you see the bicycle was taken? Oh, she said, I knew. I said, what? And I made a bit of a discussion about trusting when she doesn't tell me. She told me, yeah, she was following up herself to the village and so on. But the bicycle was stolen, we reported to the security company. Then on December 10, my usual procedure going to the coffee, came back at around 10.30 and found the house empty but locked as usual. All clothes there, everything in the house, shoes, makeup and so but must be gone. I thought, hey, she's over for the beach walk, she will come. At uh, about after lunchtime, about 1 o'clock p.m., I said, there is something wrong. She did not show up. So I talked to my friends in the compound, a uh, good friend of hers, Stella, and asked, hey, did you see where she is? And so 
Uh, she was gone for not seen even. <coughs> Nobody of security saw her going. So I said, okay, well, too early for a missing person report. As usually they say, wait. So I waited. Next day on the Friday 11th, went to the local police station in Malindi, which is responsible as I thought, and found that it's nice that there is the German flag as the color of the Kenyan police. Black, red, yellow. Felt very secure and talked to the people there. Made the missing person report first. After some uh, typical paperwork done, the two officers uh, came with me to the house and wanted to see the scene, if I was lying or what. So they saw everything there. And suddenly somebody said, hey, what about the suitcase on the bed? I said, oh, this is just my suitcase. Pulled it out and saw, whoops, it was broken in two. My backpack, which was in there in locked state, was open. And the two envelopes with 20,000 euros each taken. The money to be paid for the house and the contract to be signed on the 14th December Monday in that notary office we had appointed locally in Malindi. So I can only say she took 100% uh, cash instead of 50% real estate to own and she left me and has not seen since December 10th, 8.45 a.m. last time online on WhatsApp. She took only two phones and all the clothes she had wearing. And that's it. Last time seen there. The security company n had no clue. They didn't see her. She was obviously going out the security uh, loopholes in Koraki, which is neighbor. So I then continued to make another report, as they said, I needed to, to change the missing person into a crime case of theft. Police took all efforts, I gave all incidents, everything I had in data I gave them. And now after those months, I am in despair, there is no sign of life. I went to the family myself, talked to father and mother, they even know nothing themselves. She never contacted. She was always in good terms with her sister and papa, Adelina. Now we found that Angelina was taken, arrested and uh, taken to the police to be interrogated. Yet the police tells me they took Louisa for arrest, who is the mastermind of this plot. Luisa was the leader of the gang in Tapa, and I know that she was always hanging around with Luisa. We have video evidence that they mingled, and the landlord in Tapa even says every time she was picked up by... Now we are in March, and I have no sign of life of Marcy, that she is still there, and no sign at all, and the money gone and uh, was security holes in the Harbor Key Cottage Limited and nobody saw her going. So I'm very concerned. The police promises to take her first uh, by Christmas we have, then New Year's we have. Uh, no, they don't have no idea and as they are requested to pay some money to make the operations more efficient and uh, they follow up with Safaricom and uh, phone data. Well, they are not making progress. And they say they inv uh, even three weeks ago Oh, we arrested Luisa. Yeah, it was not done. It was a lie. Well, who they arrested was Angela or Angelina by name, her elder sister in Tampa. She's mother of two children. I was shocked that the mother of two children is taken to be arrested. And since February 20, I have no sign of her either. People tell me she was arrested, but the phone still held in the police. So by what legal terms can you do that? I'm not sure. She is innocent, I know. And I've known Angelina, her sister, since the beginning. I was in weekly chats, but now she's not there, so I'm in despair. Besides, ah, this is basically my official appeal to government because I have no means to find them. People tell me to go to some officials in Nairobi, but uh, I'm a foreigner. I'm uh, not knowing my way, so can you please somebody take my hand? Even German embassy gives me the hint to go to a local lawyer, but the lawyer is not doing what I want. They say, file a case. Well, this can take two years. No, I need immediate help and protection because I'm threatened by my life. Some people seem to have the interest to make me leave Kenya, and they threaten me and say, if you don't leave, you'll be seen by killers. This is in my chat. Every day is psychoterror. Now I'm in despair. And I need the direct protection of higher forces. And I want to appeal to the Kenyan government to follow up. And I know that you are part of the United Nations Charter for Human Rights. 
I feel threatened here by people who not adhere to human rights at all. So give me a hint what to do. First I need for my peace of mind whereabouts of Masi who was my fiancée and I trusted her and I loved her. Now the love is destroyed, my heart broken and I'm emotionally touched that much that I will reconsider my investments in Kenya which could be a factory for my irrigation pipes, subsoil, plus a recycling factory for tires for the raw material in total maybe up to 5 million euros. I will find those investors. This is not a problem. Money is searching investments any time. And I have the means to do it because I'm liquid, uh, not liquid, I'm fluent in English. I talk better English than my mother tongue German now. Yeah, well, it seems to be a standard case that uh, people are robbed. And we even made jokes of the case which was in the press in 2019. A married couple where the black lady killed this husband, her husband. And they found the remains in a septic tank was in the press and we made jokes about it and I told Mercy because I'm pretty much old compared to her age so when will you put me in a septic tank and she said jokingly never I'll be committing to the end of your life I said better not because hey I'm, I'm 66 and yes I was 65 I said 10 years maybe and then you may go and I was committed for her to improve her life such that she could be independent and walk anytime when she wanted well, we set out that uh, she had a high school degree and I paid for her certificate so that she could start studies at the university. It should have started on January and what the topic was, it was agriculture. So it would match that her capabilities would be useful for my activities in investment, irrigation. Now. And there is other cases, uh, not only that PR case, just recently in, uh, it was Kisumu. And there was a German who was married also here in business to a local person and then he was taken to prison and they repossessed the whole house of theirs into the hand of a black lady. And now he's in despair sitting alone. Yeah, the guy's even older than me, is a German. I talked to him two weeks ago. So I'm not the only one. Do you feel I know who owns Samala Hotel. This is Mr. Governor Sonko. He was bailed out two weeks ago for the paying of two million shillings. She breached, she broke my heart. I was committed to the whole family and now she never will agrees you can only kill the dog. It cannot be re-educated. What she did in fact she spoiled her own life because there is no you took over from a waiter position at Sonko's Hotel as he did not pay the monthly of 10,000 even. I doubled it and always paid on time. You hate or you love and you decide. I decided for love, she decided for hate. So it's you say that. And I was 24 years at Intel Corporation in marketing and I introduced technologies like uh, Bluetooth, HDMI and so on uh, to be working for them for 24 years of my life. I found a blue book which says Internet, no, but Ethernet specification. 30% by and Intel is not doing a good PR job for being acknowledged for what they do and did. USB is on every phone. Take everybody. a sip, take a sip. Bluetooth is actually the English translation of Left Hand, the Danish King 13 policy by Ericsson who made the base technology in Sweden. And that's why it is Bluetooth today, Blood Hunt. <laughs> I made a promotional effort with T-shirts. I ironed the to the phone and the car is there as a standard. It will set standard for the industry. PCI, HDMI. In upstairs. That's should I come with my mask? I guess so, yeah. So that it's cutting over to the set there. Yeah. I know what that is, my friend. I've been there. I've seen studios before. Take off like this.
observed by a waiter named Masi Adiombo Ocheng. And uh, she was nice and we talked a bit and after the second or third year time I was there, she asked me if I was at age 14, so I agreed to go with her to the Danka Club in Tarpa and we had a nice time. I found she had an old phone being Yeah. Mm -hmm. 